response squad with an important announcement regarding our new self-mastering process. All guests must visit their assigned master station and check in with one of our team members. At this time, if you have not completed Room. your self-mastering process, Please look so at your room 828. Andrea is going to open this room up and see what we got. And can be found on deck 4. So once again, if you haven't completed these I'm huffing and puffing because I walked up the stairs with our bag. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. You behind me? All right, room 828, Carnival Freedom. It's noisy and doing the announcement. So what do we got over here? Ooh, a Belkin. Oh, right there is the captain's quarters. Holy smoke. We're in the very front of the ship. And right there is the bridge. And you come down, they're doing some maintenance. Fort Canaveral, terminal number six. Let's talk about our cabin now. We get a balcony, king size bed. This is an adjoining room. So we wanna keep that locked. Someone could come in here if it wasn't locked. Um, so adjoining room is great for families. Uh, one can stay in one room and the other room. So room 8208 is adjoining. We've got two night lamps. I'm still huffing and puffing from walking up all the stairs. Storage. Now, this is gonna refrigerate. Desk with a stool, laundry, bags, the, the safe, old school safe. I'm gonna old school TV. Meaning old school, you need your. Yeah, you've gotta put a card in there. Where in some of the other ships, you just, like a Mardi Gras, you would just co put a code in and lock it. So that's kind of old school. Now, what, what you really need to look at is the technology. One, one 110 outlet, and then you got a European plug. The good thing is, we have a European plug, and we'll try that out. Um, but no USBs. There's another light here. We've got a couch. Um, but I guess the real thing is be prepared for having one outlet and one European outlet. And no surge protectors. No surge protectors are allowed on the, the ship as a hairdryer. If you pull out what we have that we travel with, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you guys what we travel with. And like I said in other videos, these go up and you can adjust them like so. And then you go, you can put, you can put them all up if you want, or you can put them all down so you have your shelves. Here is the thermostat. Right now it is on AC all the way. Blue is cold. Red is hot, so if we go this way, we're turning the heat on. This way, we're turning the AC on. Over here is our emergency exit. We're on deck eight, these emergency exit instructions. And our muster station is deck four, B, muster B. So the first thing we do is we drop off our bags and then we head down to our muster. For those of you who are new to cruising, no matter what cruise ship you're on, the ship won't leave until everybody's done their muster. So you wanna get your muster done as soon as you get on the ship. And here's the bathroom. In the bathroom, there is no outlets. No, well, let me see, there's something up here. There's something up here, oh yeah. It's a, it's a 110 outlet right there. So if you wanted to plug in a shaver, you could there. But this is room 8208 on the Carnival Freedom. And we're heading over to Barcelona, Spain. We're gonna head to uh, the Azores. 
Check that out over there on the balcony. Let me see if I can zoom in over there. Oh, there we go. Is that NASA? Over there, and the rocket ships are over there. To the left. The left? Yeah, you can see the reddish tip. Yep. It's quite a ways from the sky. Wow, check it out. Right there's the bridge. Right there's our balcony. Thanks for coming along. Yeah, this is what we use for a plug. It's not a surge protector, but in situations, you can see, this is the model. And we get through security with it because it's not a surge protector. It will not, uh, and what it gives us, it'll give us four more outlets. So in this ship, you only have that one 110. You do have European plug, which we carry around with us, so we'll be able to use that. But So this is our uh, European plug that we bring. And this will go in here. And then it's all lit up. So we have another plug. We have two USBs. And now we have uh, our extension cord. So that takes care of our electronics. This is obviously an older ship. But that's the important stuff, is your ability to, you know, plug your electronics in. But other than that, we're never really in the cabin. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you about the closets on some of the Carnival ships and the real funky hanger situation that they have going on. So come on for a closer look. So these are the hangers, and what's really weird about these hangers is they're all kind of in here, they clank around, and then they've got these weird, if you can zoom in a little bit under, I'll pull one out, but there's a weird like locking system. You gotta like slide through these and then lift them up. If you're trying to put your hanger and your clothes on the hangers as they exist, they're a real pain in the neck. So I have found that there's an easier way to load your hangers and then load your closet. So you're gonna have to come a little closer again, Michael. So these rods here are not stationary. They actually come up and they open out and the whole rod actually comes off. And as you'll see, this is gonna slide down. I need two hands for this. This whole rod comes out, which is great. And then these come off. I can do this without being kind of clumsy. These come off. All right. So then each of these hangers have these weird little things. And you can put multiple hooks on them for each hanger. So I take these all apart. I put my clothes on each one. I can pick and choose the hangers I want. Some of them have clips for pants, some of them are individual with notches, some of them have a, a rod like this if you like to hang your clothing like it. So I like to get all my clothes on this and then I put it back. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you how I put it back in the closet. Cool. Okay, so I've gotten all my clothes on our hangers. I've got all my little doohickey hanger things. They kind of go in these little hooks like this and you can load them up. I usually like three on one. Um, you can do two, I, maybe you might even be able to get four. And then you're gonna take these and you're gonna put them on the rod. Slide this on with Michael's help. <laughs> maybe not, I just pulled this off by accident. So slide this on. So now you have your rod and you're gonna put it back in the closet. I just dropped one. like Michael would do this because he's a bit stronger than I am but since he's videotaping <laughs> might have to needs to go all blown we need to stop a second just goes like this okay. just like that put okay. it right in there just like that is that one there we go and there. That one. <laughs> like I said Michael's definitely stronger than I am whoops there I am stepping all this and then I'll put this one in I guess like so, so they go in and out pretty easily once they're there, but now, as you see, excuse me, I have all of our stuff hanging in the closet. And it's a lot easier than trying to finagle the uh, clothes into the closet onto the hangers themselves. Okay. Cool. All right, that was cool. So we're, we're life jackets on this, uh, on this ship, they're in the room, aren't they? In this ship, they are in the room, and they are 
in a closet that says Life Jackets. Jackets. When you're in that closet, on the top shelf, there you go. There you go. So Life Jackets are in your room. These older ships on Carnival have the Life Jackets in the room. And uh, like the Mardi Gras, you would go to your muster location, and they'll have the life jackets for you at the location. So if you're on the ship somewhere... Depends on the class. Not so much the ship, the class. Okay, class, class of ships. ships. Yep. There All right. Go. That sounds cool. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else you want to add about this room? No, we're good. We're good? Thank you. All right, we're good. Let me show you our, our little uh, packing situation here. <laughs> Before I get you going. <laughs> oh, we're having a debate. <laughs> Thanks for coming along on Hubbard's journey. We greatly appreciate it. I hope this video has been informative and it'll help you out when you book your next cruise on room 8208 on a Carnival Freedom. Thanks.